Those ice bucket challenge videos that were all the rage recently in the past year, turns out they raised big money for ALS research. But there's still work to be done and buckets to be overturned. WFMC's Bo Colt now has more. ALS challenge. From athletes to tech titans to 69 news crews, even Kermit. In 2014, 17 million ice bucket challenge videos were made, raising $220 million worldwide. Hand in hand with the silliness is this extraordinary, extraordinarily serious purpose. To raise awareness and money in the fight against ALS. It's estimated 30,000 people are suffering from the degenerative disease in the United States. And last year's late summer cold water surge produced 115 million bucks in donations for the ALS Association a 2,200% increase from the year before. Neurologist Glenn Mack in his head of LVHN ALS clinic. The idea did not come from physicians. It didn't come from the ALS association. It came from patients. I'm Donna. Patients like Donna Spence Catcher, who was diagnosed 10 years ago. She and her sister Dawn created Donna's dugout and have been raising money and awareness ever since. It's not to the degree that it was last year, but it is definitely there. <laughs> It's not just Donna. Stars like Renee Zellweger and Major League Baseball are once again putting people to the challenge and raising the bar for awareness. Every August until there is a cure, it's become the battle cry for those fighting this disease. With that being said, go for it, Chaz. Woo! Your challenge next. I know people kind of got a little sick of the ice bucket challenge last year, but I think you're going to see it until truly there is a cure. Proving the challenge isn't set to dry up anytime soon. Bo Colt now, 69 News.